Oh, you got the wall there? I have this. People using dummy rounds. Mm -hmm. That means there could be something detrimental. Magazine. Yeah. Chamber. It's never happened to me. Okay, I've never no. damaged my. I never have students beside them shooting them. Revolver. Polite and courteous with my own guns. Chamber. Barrel. Magazine. Chamber. The Walther. One of the best guns created. Walther. It's a very popular. This is the PPS. It's that one person that says, I don't like you standing next to me. I don't. Donald, I love her. Is she new there? Oh, man. Wow, he, he died of her. Firearm, we're going to play peekaboo with the box. The reason is, we want to see which direction the firearm's facing. Because I don't want to open up the box and then have to pick it up because it's facing me. Yeah. We're considering this wall downrange. This is the only direction we will ever point a pistol until we go, okay, stop. We're now designating a different wall downrange. Because maybe everybody steps up here and this is our own line. Pointed downrange. And honestly, if you're pointed downrange, I don't even want to see it this far, this far. So I can literally. See how I did that? That barrel. No, that is the CZ. CZ. Everyone has done unless I stayed downrange. There was very little flexion, left, right, up, or down, right? Have I practiced that a lot at home? It's kind of hard to check the board mm -hmm. to see if there's anything in there, all right? So we're going to check the magazine well. We're going to look in there and check the chamber, and we're going to check the board. It's hard to get my finger into that board, okay? So what I'm going to end up doing is sliding the firearm forward to the wall so that I can reach down. What I don't ever want to do is put any part of me or anyone else in front of that firearm. That's why you see me slide the firearm. Okay. Okay. 22. This one, what is this one again? I don't like the back grip of most of the events. It's a pure class. It wouldn't be happy when you squeeze the trigger on it. <laughs> Press that forward. Forward? Yep. Perfect. Huh? I won't ever get you that. <laughs> you know, Remember, when we get that grip, we make sure that that grip, when we pick a firearm up, we always pick it up the exact same way. I will not pick up even this fake firearm like this. Anything of that nature. I will get grip. Do not roll forward with a small firearm, because you will burn your fingers, okay? Or shoot the tip of your thumb off, okay? This is a good grip for this firearm, because it's so tiny, okay? I get my grip, all that meat rolls into that handle. See how that all locks together? And then that hand rolls around, and that's the final look, guys. All that's pressed up nice and tight in there. When I come out, I've got my arms locked. I don't need them bent. I lock my arms. The reason I lock my arms is because now any pressure that comes from that firearm comes straight back up the arm through the elbow because it's now locked. It's no longer a joint. All that pressure from any firearm that I shoot, that kickback, goes directly to my shoulders, which are my bigger muscles. My wrist is locked, my elbow is locked. There's a reason for that. Once I lock it out, everything does this at the shoulders. So it takes a lot more force to move my shoulders than it does my wrist or my elbow. All right, so when I come out, I'm locked. I've got my grip and I'm locked out. If I'm going to turn, it's at the waist. That's all I need to do. I don't need to readjust my feet, my knees, nothing. I find my target, I come out. Once I'm there, I'm on target. If I need to shift a little bit, I can shift right here. I don't need to use my shoulders for anything but the recoil. I do not have my wrist limp, my elbows bent.
All right. If I was going to do an F, Kimber. it would probably be the 5'7. Five, five, but most rings you can't shoot a 5'7. Because it's such a hot load. I was going to say, is that the one that's like. They're like did it? Close my eyes. Pop! Open my eyes. Oop! There it is. Perfect. Sight alignment, sight picture, everything. Sights are on the money. Now, you may be off that much on the left or the right or up or down with your eyes closed. It's fine. Okay? Your eyes are closed and you're that doggone close, perfect all day, every day. That's where you want to be at. Because at some point in time, you may have to fire in the dark. You get one quick flash. Somebody there, they're the bad guy. It's dark. So if you've already practiced with your eyes closed, guess what? You know there's an object there. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you hit him here, you hit him here, you hit him here. The next one I want to try is...